know you can look me in the eye It's all because of Jesus, he the reason I'm alive I live by faith, by grace, you know that I ain't gotta strive They told me, tone it down, I told him Tom posts a tweet Yo, this is what he says. This blew my mind. When I read this tweet, I about like fell over and did the worm on the ground. I mean, I was mind blown. I couldn't believe this. I saw it and I thought there was actually people talking that maybe his account got hacked. So there was like a whole thing on social media that maybe his account got hacked and he wasn't really back and they were just messing with all this stuff. But listen to what he says. These past two months, I've realized my place is still on the field and not in the stands. That time will come, but it's not now. I love my teammates and I love my supportive family. They make it all possible. I'm coming back from my 23rd season in Tampa. 23rd season in the league, obviously not in Tampa. Unfinished business, L blank G. Yeah. Now, and then he posted a, a picture. A little bit of context. He posted a picture. You guys can see this right here, but he posted a picture of him right behind the ball on the snap and then his family. And um, it's interesting. He talks about that his place is on the field right now. And there will be a time that it's off the field. Interesting to see what that will look like. But obviously Brady's back, probably the biggest news. I think, I mean, in the league, I was talking to my dad and I said, this is probably the second biggest bucks news of all, all time. time. All time. It might not be, but at least in my personal life next to what the first biggest bucks news is when he said that he was coming to Tampa. <laughs> I, I think this is bigger because this, this involves, his career even separate from Tampa Bay. Also, his whole career as a football player ended in retirement and his whole career unended when he came back. So it's a big deal. He comes, wins the Super Bowl. It's amazing. But when he's done, people wrote the bucks off. Like they've they've got they're over the cap. They've got a lot to figure out. Who are they gonna put in trash? You know, they kind of put us off. Now Brady's back. The whole league is sitting there. All of a sudden it's like Tom Brady's back, a week of everybody trading, everybody's moving stuff around. I just I never let myself get hopeful that he would come back because he said that he was retiring. So I was like, you know what? I know. I know. I'm I not even gonna. Guy. I'm not even gonna let myself go there because I kept on repeating, "Hey man, I think it would be great if Brady would have came back. He could have spent a year with Trask under him on the sideline. Yeah. Then great quarterbacks come out that way, like Aaron Rodgers right. sitting under Brett Favre. Yeah. Tom Brady sitting under Drew Bledsoe. Like, I mean, t- they Drew all Brady. had it. Yeah. Like but I mean, being able to sit under the guy. It makes you think, how does this set up Trask for his career in the NFL? What a gift. Instead of putting him on on the main stage after a year of being under Brady, he's going to have two years under Brady. I, I mean, I believe they're, they have, especially with the team, you'll, you'll look at this in a, in a minute, but especially with the team they, they're preparing to have this season, I mean, I think they're, they're going to, they're not being biased, but I really think they're going to they're, they're be a hard team to beat this year in in the league um and i think they're going to go on to have one and i'm just saying this now so everybody has this on record i think they're going to go on to have one of the best regular seasons that in nfl history as a team i'm pretty dumbfounded because they've had been, i know i know i know the dolphins went perfect no, i'm telling you won the super bowl Maybe not perfect. Maybe one or two losses. The Patriots went perfect and lost the Super Bowl. But Brady is going to come back and bring an energy to a team that has a lot of the same guys, which, again, we'll look at in a minute. Oh, there is. The city is different right now. It's different. I got my hair cut last Thursday. Shout out Al. What up, Al? Big Al. Big Al's barn shop. Shout out Toy Toy Story, Story, too. Hey, (laughs) Sean comes in for Toy Story. There you go. Shout out, Sean. That's Sean Patrick again, I was getting my hair cut in the barber shop. People there know I like sports. So we're talking about sports, obviously, like we do this. And people were sad talking about how Tom Brady not coming back. What are we going to do? Then Tom Brady announces he comes back. I was in the barbershop. Now everybody's happy all of a sudden. It was mind-blowing to me how yeah. people's whole lives were different because of that. They were like, man, we're going to go back to being the Bucks that we used to be. <laughs> Which you know, if you're a fan, you we've all been there. The the Bucks, you know. Yeah, but it's, it's like the Rays. A little bit of context about Tom Brady is that he kept on doing these different things and posting these different things, and I was I would not let myself get hopeful. But he would go on the podcast and he would go on different things, and he would say certain lines, and it was just like, am I dissecting this too much and getting trying to get hopeful? But then he went to. Um, 
the Manchester United game. And um, Cristiano Ronaldo was there. They were talking. And Cristiano Ronaldo, you could see him mouth it. You're done, right? And yeah, Tom, yeah. Tom Brady says, we'll see, and kind of smiled. And the Glazier family that owns the Bucks owns Manchester United, at least a portion of it. So that was like I didn't know that. He's at a, he's at a Glazier family-owned game. <laughs> he's like, like, yeah, I'm done. That's it. No more. And then now he's talking like this after the game. And I kept on saying – I even said it last episode. Like, hey, Tom Brady's <laughs> great at marketing. He's just going to keep doing what Tom Brady does and, and – keep trying to be in a spotlight because of his brand, because of TB12, because of the Brady brand, different things like that. But no, he was actually, I think, maybe trying to give people a little bit of hope, and he did. So Tom Brady's yeah. coming back. Everybody in the Bucks organization is happy. And it was like after that, it started a firestorm. With We were talking about yeah. we have to find somebody to get under quarterback, we have to get under the cap, so on and so forth. And here's how impactful Brady coming back is. <laughs> <laughs> Before Brady coming back, the odds for the Bucks to win the Super Bowl were twenty-eight to one, and then after the Tom Brady coming back to the Bucks, the odds went to seven oh, and seven. a half to yeah, one. Yeah, that's crazy. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> Sean, why don't you tune in on that for a minute? I, there, I don't buddy. know. It just like if you look at other great players from other other sports and stuff. Like, look at Brett Favre. How many times did he retire? You know, like. That's true. He did retire like 17 different times. <laughs> right, exactly. But, and then look at, you know, be, being a former athlete, you, Jared, you know, it's hard to give it up. It's, it's something yeah. you love to do. I had to get to the point where you my know? body was so beat up. We talked about this actually at lunch notes yeah. not so long ago of just different injuries we've had. And it was like, man, is this, this isn't fun anymore. Right. <laughs> but obviously, you're Tom Brady. You've won seven Super Bowls. It's right. probably pretty fun. And he's not taking like, a lot of hard hits. You know, If it was Troy Aikman and he said he wanted to come back, I'd be like, that's probably a bad idea. <laughs> 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 the wheelchair Olympics. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> At Field Gates, he tweeted something pretty profound. I had no idea that this was a thing. I didn't either. Till you, till you said that, I didn't know that. <laughs> I mean, until you told me the first. Listen, I, we're gonna put this up on the screen. I so Jared told me this a couple days ago, and I actually didn't believe him. But I had I had seen the post, so I knew there was some kind of you know fidelity to it. But I didn't believe him when he said this because it's it's kind of a it, it's more it's like an anomaly. It's like a, such a rarity in sports to see this type of a pattern in the play. It's like it's like if you planned a career. And you wanted to set everything out to be like perfect on this like green, red, green, red type thing. So we're going to read this tweet here. So listen to this. Field Yates says Tom Brady's last nine seasons. Listen to this, guys. In 2013, some of you guys remember, lost in the playoffs. 2014, wins the Super Bowl. Remember that one? I do. Yeah, that was Seahawks. Versus Seahawks. Boring game. Not. On the goal line, don't hand the ball off to Marshawn Lynch. No, yeah. we. I mean, Marshawn, you're dope on a highlight reel. Anyway. 2015, loses the playoff games. We probably won't make that a real. Hey. Uh, <laughs> he would eat you, bro. <laughs> hey, we that would be a video call. We wouldn't have him in the show. 2016, wins the Super Bowl. 17, loses playoff game. 18, wins the Super Bowl. 19, loses playoff game. 20, wins the Super Bowl. 21, last season, loses a playoff game. He's set for this 10th season following the pattern. He's had nine seasons in a row. To win the Super Bowl. Now, if you're other organizations so for the past that, decade, that's terrifying. For the past decade, he's either won the Super Bowl or lost in the playoffs in re order in of order. alternating. And the reason is, is because, Bra now tell me if I'm so, wrong, but Brady has a mentality that allows him to only come back from a loss to a win. He was like revenge body, revenge tour, we are going to win. But it's like Kobe Bryant. It's like they talk about Mamba, Mamba. mentality. You know, Brady has that Mamba mentality of like, he, my personal opinion, Tom Brady, this is another, put this on a broadcast. Tom Brady will not be able to retire on anything other than a Super Bowl win. He will not be able to retire because he is set up only to respond to losses by winning and he won't be able to let himself quit the game if it's not off a win. So if the Bucks don't win the Super Bowl this year, he'll be back. You're saying he's too competitive. 
I'm I'm saying that his nature is to win, and he won't seal his forever remembered nature by his last season on anything but a Super Bowl win. Because right. he's because he's the greatest we'll to ever do it. That's who he is. He's a winner. He's gonna win. He won it with the Patriots. He's gonna win in Tampa, and he's gonna do it again. It comes to a point where Here you we can't. Go. Just keep going though, and keep losing and keep losing. Tell the, I'm not saying that that's going to happen. No, nah, but I mean, tell the last ten seasons. You know what I'm talking about? Where you don't see back to back losses in I the thought playoffs. You were say, Nine. Tell that to Tom. Tell, Brady. tell that to Tom. Brady. Hashtag. Look, he's not 30 anymore, but no, though, bro. It did, <laughs> no, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Everybody said when he came to Tampa, you know, oh wow, Brady's in Tampa. People think he's he's freaking old. It's like people talk about Tiger Woods is never going to win. Well, y'all don't know nothing about that. But at at the end of the day. Tiger we don't Woods. Know about Tiger Woods. No, apparently. Tiger Woods had the Never greatest. Tiger Woods had the greatest comeback from an injury from where he was to after in the history of sports. They said he would never play uh, professional golf again. They said he would never be competitive again, and he came back after his won. car accident. You're saying he came? Uh, no, 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 no. This was years ago. <laughs> this was years ago. He, I just, I just wanted to clarify. No, no, no. He, he had severe injuries and came back uh, to win a Masters. It was a really big deal, and um, and I, I remember watching, getting very emotional because. Growing up watching Tiger, when he got injured, they said he was out. And they talked about him being old. And they talked about him. But they didn't understand that the mentality, you know, they talk about mind over matter. Nothing, you know this, nothing is more important in sports than the mentality you have. You can have injuries, you can have this, but but Tom Brady has a mentality that only lets him come back from losing in the playoffs to winning a Super Bowl. And that doesn't break this year. I thought you just held up our paper like it's the law. <laughs> you, I mean... You so wrote it. You know what I'm talking once, about? Once Tom decided he was going to come back, now it was about let's put all the pieces in place around him. Right. How do we... A lot of the same pieces. Get under the cap. Yeah, we like the pieces that we have. They're great pieces. How do we get them back together, stay under the cap, and keep moving forward towards our open, ultimate goal of winning another Super Bowl, having another boat parade in the river? Boat parades in the river. So... You know you can look me in the eye It's all because of Jesus He the reason I'm alive I live by faith, by grace You know that I ain't gotta strive They told me, told me